Hello and welcome back to Dr. Beard plays near life experience. We found out who this guy is. He's hate. And that's death. That's life. That's love. That there's fact. No one likes him. And I'm mystery. Everyone loves me. And we've been everywhere but the fact room. So let's try to solve some shit. Because that's just generally what badasses like us do. Why is it so dark? I decided to go see Death. Death is currently detained in the fact room. This room is where a fact collects everything interesting he finds when he visits worlds. I'll go in there and talk to Death so I can get her side of the story. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, fact! Nothing is different from usual. Oh, come on, you're still doing that thing? You will say what you want from I need to go ask some questions that death is in the fact room. Yes, I know that. I need to get in there too. The fact room is safe. Death cannot escape from it. Just shut up and let me in. You are very impolite for someone who's asking a favor. Ouch, that hurts. Fact has lots of problems with lying. In fact, he cannot do it. Even concealing the truth is a bit hard for him. He can do it, but he will be so obvious that anyone will notice that something is wrong. So him saying that I'm impolite just made me reconsider my approach. Okay, fact. This is for the sake of truth. Please let me in. You like truth, right? Well, I need to set some light on this murder and find out everything. I would be very grateful if you would kindly let me in. Okay. Watch out for flying thought reports. Whoa, wait. Oh, that was easier than expected. Flying thought reports? What the flip flam are those? Is this the fact room? These are my evidences. Evidences? Evidences. What the heck are those? Flying thought reports. Why do we even need those? And why is the fact room all red? It kind of hurts my eyes. Finally! I made it. Oh, I hate this place so much. Flying fact thoughts all over the place. I can still feel them. All those useless pieces of information. It's like school all over again. I think I'll never forget about this place. The fact room. A horrible place. Poor death. It must be horrible for her to be stuck in here. Speaking of which, where could she possibly be? DEATH! CAN YOU HEAR ME?! Dodge. You... Oh, I hear something. GET ME OUT OF HERE RIGHT NOW! What? Don't shout like this. You are the counterpart of that red guy. You should have some similar powers. Well, uh, I can become invisible and that's about it. Get me out of here right now or I will cut you in two. Wait, please calm down. Do you doubt my ability to cut things in two? Please step back. I'm just here to talk. Don't touch him. Oh crap, it's her again. Move away! Oh no, she got away again. Love, what are you doing here? I wanted to talk to her to know her side of the story. But she keeps flying away! Since we both fly at the same speed, I can't seem to be able to catch her! And she keeps throwing her scythe at me! It's so unfair, if only I had something to throw at her too! No! What? I know what you're thinking, and it is not going to happen! Crap! It's totally gonna happen! Sweet! I can throw a me! Come here! I'm gonna throw a me at you! You're gonna take me in the face! Come on! Bring it, bitch! Gotcha! Oh shit, you have things! Bitch, quit doing your things! Oh no, my anus! Damn it! I gotta be badass like the Norseman! Or, you know any gangster except for really bad gangsters because some of them are just plain stupid like really stupid like die in a way that would confuse you stupid like like he choked on a glass of water not the actual water just the glass how, how the fuck does that happen that's how stupid people can be I hope people never be that stupid, but I know deep in my heart that pr people are pretty stupid. Also, why is this so difficult? Ah, bitch, quit the one so fast. 
Oh, fuck you. Fear me, for I am king of something. Some. Oh, damn it. I keep getting my ass kicked. In case you don't know, that's not a good feeling. You generally like your ass to not be kicked. Asses are good for people who have them. Son of a bitch! Quit dodging, you bitch. Why are you so panicky anyways? I mean, I know the fact room sucks, but still. Come on. Don't you hit me. Don't you hit me. Don't you do it, bitch. No! Ugh, fuck you and fuck your shit! I'm gonna hit you with my face. I will not be defeated by death. I am not an old man or a veteran. So I think that makes me immune to dying yet. Unless I live in Brooklyn. Or there is a natural disaster. Because those will mess you up too. Don't you dare hit me. That should have hit you. Come on. Stop dodging. I win. I'm awesome. You suck. Because I'm so great. Take it. I'm awesome. Finally. My head is still spinning from this. Don't ever do that again, love. Sorry. <laughs> that was humiliating. I love it when I win a race. Well, at least it was entertaining. There's nothing to do here at all. You guys must be excited. This is like the first murder in the history of eternity. And of course, everyone will say that death was responsible for it. It's logical, isn't it? What? Oh, that's right. You've been there all this time, so you don't actually know what happened after you were jailed. Wait, what do you mean? What happened? We have been investigating. What? It's too simple if you did it. Too obvious. I believe that you were framed. Yeah. That's why I was trying to tell you all the time, but you are just running away! I have already met your brother to get more information, and I checked Forsythe's body. Something is obviously not right. All that is left to do is prove your innocence tomorrow. I will not let you down. But for that, I need your cooperate. Am I her lawyer? I love cooperation! So, are you ready to tell us what you know? You. Hmm? Huh? Thank. Thank you. Oh, she's crying. It's okay, Death. I love you, too. What? Oh. I was so scared. I was born just a few cycles ago and something horrible has already happened. I didn't know what would come next. Would I be imprisoned forever? Would I be pardoned by creation but eternally rejected by everyone else? Would I... die? Don't worry. Everything is fine now. We will prove your innocence! I'm sorry. There's nothing I know. I tried everything I could, but I didn't find any reason for anyone to frame me. This world is all new to me. I didn't have enough time to familiarize with everyone. Dot. Er, what's the matter? I just remembered something. Oh, really? Yes! Forsyth talked to me before I started working on planet Earth. He asked me what kind of powers I had. What? He did that? But he should know the answer. He can see the future. Yes, but at the moment I turned around to sow him. And I think that this is when I lost my sight. What? Yes, I'm talking about this sight. Your sight? I want it. Give it to me. It's so badass. It disappeared during the creation of Earth. After what you told me, it seems that something is clear to me now. What is? This sight cannot possibly be the murder weapon. What? How did you deduce that? I have no time to explain. We must act quickly. Death, please wait for me. I will defend you. I promise. Thank you. We're gonna defend death against facts. Death's trial will be the center of attention in the next episode!